Hey guys, Dublin Gaming here, bringing you another episode of Skyblock Survival. And off screen, I collected a bunch of cobble, and I started working on something that I probably shouldn't have started working on off camera, but I started working on a little platform down here so that I could get all of the dirt and make my farms and stuff. But, ah, I don't want to die. This episode, I was just planning on doing speed build for that. And now I quickly realized that that was a bad idea because there's mobs up there. And I don't feel like dying. But yeah. Ow. Ah, uh, no. None of them are falling on the platform. Okay. I was hoping I could get a quick, easy mob loot there. I'll jump, and if I... Okay, I made it. If I missed, I would have just caught the water. So, good news. My watermelon have been growing. So, now I don't need to starve anymore. Is it a ton of watermelons? No. Will I take it? Yes. So, I don't know what I should be doing now while I wait for it to become day. Is this... The moon's going up. So, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to craft a pickaxe. And then I'm just going to mine through the night. And I will be back with you guys when it's day. So, just hold on for a minute, guys. Alright, guys. Well, I'm back for now. And... I went through a whole pickaxe worth of cobblestone, so I decided, well, that'll be good enough, and harvest what little crops I have, go back here, deposit them, so what I really need most is probably string and bone meal. Because with the string, I'll be able to sleep through the nights. And with the bone meal, I'll be able to put it on grass and be like, Pew! Wheat farm! And yes, I would really be like, Pew! Wheat farm. So, it is almost daytime. The sun is arising. Ain't that a pretty sunrise? Let's just take a moment to look at its beauty. Mobs will start dying. Beautiful sight. Just, just beautiful. And I realize I should probably have a pickaxe for this. Because, you know, I might need one. Okay, so I got a stone pickaxe and... It's at six and almost a half stacks of cobble. Uh-oh, don't look at the enderman. Don't look at the Enderman, because he's a scary guy, and he will kill me, and I really don't want to die. Awesome. So I'm just heading up here, and I'm going to do as much of it as I can as a speed build with the cobble that I have. Hopefully there aren't creepers. I don't want to... <laughs> okay, there aren't any creepers. Awesome. So... In there okay sweet so if I break that ice is it gonna turn into water no okay well I'm just gonna start filling this back out you guys and I will do as much of it in a speed build as I can and then I will be right back so I'll see you guys in a little bit <laughs>
I'm back, and I need a lot more cobble than I thought I was going to, but it is going to work at night, um, for the most part, anyways, I didn't exactly think about, you know, the ladder and that junk, so what I'm thinking I might do is just because it's so easy to get is I might make some of the roof out of wood because I already have almost a stack of just plain wood oh crap that takes forever with wood too but since I already have almost a full stack of not even the planks just oak wood I might start using that for the ceiling because the mob grinder doesn't need to look good it just needs to work and right now I have everything that is actually a necessity except for the roof so when mobs start spawning in here which they should any moment any moment not moment mi moment minute mixture thingy but they should start spawning and dropping and dying cuz with that little 4x4 square they're gonna be falling down here and overall dying so do 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 I still find that easier than just jumping, but, so I got another pumpkin, and, oh crap, uh, I thought I was going to die right there, and that would have been pretty much GG, because I do not have another bucket, so I'm going to make sure the bucket is the first thing that I put back in, and I don't need to be regening health or anything. What I do want, though, is I think I'm going to make another axe. Wait, what am I doing? This needs to go there, that needs to go there. And I'm going to start mining, or not really mining, but collecting all of this wood. And hopefully that will finish off my mob grinder when day comes. And hopefully I'll have some mob loots from the night. And the only reason I was putting these off is because they are the really tall trees and they piss me off. So, however, they will give me a good amount of wood. Which, in terms, should help me with the mob grinder. This one doesn't seem to be too, too humongo. But it's still more than just a normal tree, and I probably shouldn't be using my axe to just break leaves. Alright, so where are the rest of these trunk pieces, or was that it? Because if that was it, that's great. Because I really don't feel like searching for all of these trunk pieces. Awesome, so I think that was it for this tree. Oak sapling... Stupid birch sapling. Stop glitching. There we go. Birch sapling. Oh, the creepers didn't die. I don't like that. Oh, the stupid ladder. I didn't even think of that. Um. Oh well. I guess. See, the zombie died. As long as they don't use the ladder, they die. Um. Eventually, when I finish that, I will be taking down that column so that they cannot grab hold of the ladder and survive because that is a pain in the bum when they don't die because then I possibly have to deal with them in the morning, yada, yada, yada. It becomes a bunch of work and nobody wants to do a bunch of work. And yeah, so there goes my axe. So I'm just going to collect as much of this wood as I can without having to build up. Because having to build up is a pain in the bum. And I'm lazy. I may not seem it, guys, but I am incredibly lazy. I don't know if I'm just a lazy person or if it's because I'm a teenager. But I'm about as lazy as they come. So if I can find an easy way to do something, I'm going to do it. And Bill Gates once said that for Microsoft, he would rather hire lazy people than motivated people because they will find the easiest way to do something. 
And that makes me kind of want to work at Microsoft because Bill Gates is extremely loaded, the richest man in the world, well, one of the richest men in the world, and maybe I could make lots of money. Because who doesn't want to make lots of money? But I don't actually see that happening. There are definitely lazier people in the world than I am, and definitely more tech-savvy people in the world than I am that would work with Microsoft better than I would. So... While that would be nice, I don't actually think it will be happening. Sorry, guys, I'm not going to Microsoft, but I just thought that was kind of a funny little joke. Haha, <laughs> funny, funny. No? Okay. If I'm not funny, just tell me, and I won't try to be, I guess. I don't know. I like being, or trying to be funny. It makes me feel good. No, the zombie is coming for me. Oh, I don't want this zombie to come for me. Hey, and another piece of sugar cane. So I, I'm going to constitute that as a sugar cane farm and a melon farm and a pumpkin farm. And eventually, I will be making a bigger pumpkin farm and a bigger melon farm. And I'm actually going to do this real quick because I don't really need melons. I mean pumpkins. I'd rather have a melon. So I'm going to replace that there. Pumpkin seeds go there. And I think I just need to collect a bunch of cobble. And that'll about do it for me. So thank you all for watching this episode of Skyblock Survival. Make sure to comment any questions, concerns, whatever it is you have to say about this series or any other series for that matter if you have something to say and when you come back I'll probably ha I don't let me know if you guys want to watch me build the rest of this or if I should just do it off camera because either way is okay well thank you for watching make sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already this has been Double M Gaming and thank you so much for watching